them out of gas. I'm only doing this for the one view right now just because I just wanted to hop on the bike and go grab some essentials because the kids want to do a campfire tonight and I'm missing one ingredient for the dinner that I had prepped. So that problem turned into a pretty decent excuse for me to get out on the bike and <laughs> run to the grocery store. But I also am going to surprise my husband. It is windy as heck right now. Um, I was going to surprise my husband because the local winery here in town does curbside pickup for wines and some of the food yet too. So he absolutely loves the port wine and I love the ice wine. So I figured, all right, that's that can go good with s'mores and our pasta dish for tonight. So I'm gonna go out to the winery right now, go grab those bottles and then head to the grocery store. But I love having this excuse right now that I can just go and pick up what I need. I unfortunately won't have this luxury in a couple weeks because our, I guess, our family is going to be adjusting a little bit and I don't know how to share some of this and not share some of this as well. But my um, husband is being put on army orders, which in turn, sends him off out of the country for 12 months, <laughs> which is not something that we're used to, but it's not something that we haven't done before. So I am trying to mentally prepare myself to be like, well, I can't just do a grocery run like this with the kiddos. They're gonna have to come with me in tow um, and things are gonna have to be planned out just a little bit more as far as me riding and the coverage of watching my two little ones. So unfortunately, it kind of throws a wrench into everything, but it is what it is. Like I said in one of my other videos, I am a military wife and this is something that I knew going into it was an expectation and it is what it is. And you just kind of have to roll with the punches and it's exactly what I'm gonna do for the next 12 months which is an entire full year which is crazy to think about right now because of just how much things are going to change as far as the kiddos go they change and grow up so quickly so fast that it's it's gonna be hard but in the long run this is something that we had planned on and talked about and knew that this was the right path and direction that we wanted to have him take and have our family take and so it'll be worth it but it'll just be a lot more on my end as far as struggle planning parenting working all of that combined kind of put on me so yeah I'll take you guys for the ride along with me of course throughout this time frame but yeah if I can have an excuse to get out right now and go ride I'm going to take full advantage of just that so coming up on the winery here which unfortunately is all gravel <laughs> heading up there but it should be should be fine nothing too too bad but I'm excited to get our wine excited to have a good dinner tonight and end it because it's like 70 degrees out Ugh. 70 degrees outside right now that the kiddos want to just spend all day outdoors and sort of way so it'll be a good ending to to the day so all right gravel Ugh. not always the best option but Front row. We love coming out here for the summer. Sitting on the porch. They've got live music on the weekends and we just have some wood fire pizzas and 
enjoy the sunset. So we're gonna go grab that right now. I was like, I figured I'd keep my, this is my mask for today, though, that works. Yeah, that will be perfect. Thank you, dear. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you. I know, I get to go to grocery shop now, too, so I'm like, yes, I'm going to take my time. <laughs> See you guys. Gear. What the hell? My bike is weird right now. Acting up. Mm -hmm. Oh god, did I get gas? Oh, please just make it back to town. A. I bet you that's the reason why. I don't think I had gas in there since I filled up. Reserve. Reserve? I think it's on. Oh, or was that my reserve on all the time? Damn it. And I'm out of gas. God damn it. All right, well, that's great. Mm, fuel on, fuel off. Oh, there's my reserve. I turned it off, that's what I did. Well, this is a first. <laughs> oh. Not neutral, but it doesn't show that I am. Try this out here. Come on, just give me enough gas to get home so I don't have to call my husband. Oh, all right, all right. Come on, bike. We're on reserve. Let's go. <laughs> oh, sh so my bike doesn't have a fuel like gauge of like if I'm getting low or not. I kind of base it off of my like 100 miles, then fill up. So I'm at 24,542 and I know I filled up at like 24,400 something. So I am over that 100 mile mark and have never filled up yet. So that has to be the reason why. Good Lord, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've ridden my bike more than I've ridden my car over the last few weeks and so I just I didn't even think twice about all the miles that I put on it right now that yeah uh, <laughs> I freaking ran out of gas <laughs> oh my gosh if my Wisconsin accent isn't coming out in this video it is now absolutely well that was an experience you just have too much fun riding that apparently you don't check your gauges <laughs> on your mileage and think, oh, this should be good. I'm just going out to the winery and going to the grocery store to pick up something and coming back home. Whitney. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Hopefully this will last me to at least get to the gas station which I'm trying to think now, like which is the closest one and I might have to go straight and then head back to the grocery store. Yep, that's what I'm gonna have to do. If not, I'm literally gonna push it, what is it, half a block 
two blocks from now if it shuts off. It shouldn't, right? How long does the reserve last for the tank on a Sportster tank? This is something I need to look up. I need to know. Because clearly I don't have that knowledge in the back of my head right now. But I'm not even going, what, 10 miles? Well, this is one good one for the moto vlog. <laughs> Has anybody else ever ran out of gas and what did you do? I'd love to know. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one. I can't be the only one that has ever done that. Okie dokie. Let's get you some gas. Put you back on fuel. <laughs> oh God, I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, I was definitely out of gas. <laughs> oh man. Well, that's one for the books. Six dollar Philip. I'll take that any day. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. All right. <laughs> We're rocking and rolling. With gas in our tank now. Because that's crucial. the grocery store we go. This is such an adventure. I'm curious to know, do any of you have a favorite gas station? Because if you live anywhere, I want to say in like the Midwest area, specifically Wisconsin, I am obsessed with quick trip gas stations. Like they are my, my absolute favorite. We used to live in Tennessee for about a year and it was the like top thing I missed when we weren't like when we weren't living in Wisconsin. Wow, alright. Just because you have a big truck. But I freaking love my quick trips. <laughs> and I don't know, I was I don't know if I wanted to risk driving all the way. I probably could have made it. But it almost feels like I'm cheating on my gas stations because I had to go to that one because it was the closest, closest one. So I didn't have to push it any farther. But. We're just gonna park right here because we can. That's what they made these spots for, right? Motorcycle parking. <laughs> All right, find neutral, Whitney. There we go. Now to get essentials. Does the helmet count as a face mask? <laughs> Should I keep my riding gloves on too? a weird feeling. I think I saw one of the moto videos that Jess from her two wheels doing the exact same run with her helmet on. I don't know how I'm like gonna try to do it but right by it. Dark chocolate? Yep. What else? What else would be good with some worms? Oh, there's M&M's. That's fun. Which our kids would like that. Let's do the mini one. Sure. 
can never have enough chocolate, right? Oh yeah, it's peanut butter too. Crunchy? Crunchy. Okay, should be good, right? It was way too hot. <laughs> Sit there with a helmet on, waiting in line. Not gonna lie. But we got the goods. Essentials. For today, actually. <laughs> hmm. Let's see if we can get it all to fit. Marshmallows. Yeah, spinach is gonna have to go on top. Coffee. I mean, they look big. My saddlebags, but shit, coffee's gonna take up a lot of room here. Alright, might have to go on the other side. Let's do that. Thankfully, we don't have too long of a ride home that the chocolate's not gonna melt either. Alrighty. Let's roll. Husband's probably worried already, like, where the hell have you been? <laughs> well, went to the winery, then realized I didn't have gas, so I went to go get gas. And then there's a long line at the grocery store at two in the afternoon. So that's where I'm at. should conclude my grocery shop errands for today <laughs> if you weren't the least bit entertained I know definitely I was I expected just a smooth quick five ten minute out run which turned into oh crap I ran out of gas <laughs> We got all the goods. I'm excited to go back home, start finishing up the rest of dinner, and enjoy some time with my family around the campfire. Because like I said, these moments together aren't gonna be happening as often anymore, which is a total bummer, but we're gonna take full advantage of the time that we do have yet together before he leaves and yeah like I say each time I finish a video I appreciate each and every one of you watching and tuning into these subscribing and liking commenting all of that jazz just letting me know that you guys are here and you appreciate what I'm doing because that's the whole reason why I started to build this moto vlog so I need to rely on you guys a little bit more as far as my community goes and yeah, excited to see where this year is going to take us and hopefully it includes more bike rides because God knows I know I need that. And we'll see you guys on the road. Bye guys. Then the chocolate. Then the mala. And you take the gram, put it on the mala. Mala? I'm calling What do you guys want? And then enjoy. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. I want chocolate. Good, Daddy? Only chocolate and marshmallow is what I want. Chocolate and marshmallow?